Like I said in the title, I believe the ST is the ultimate first car for a petrol head. PS, I'm talking about the 1.6, not the 1500 3 cylinder. Why? Just because of price. A first car can't be insanely expensive, but on the second hand market they have become seriously reasonable, especially if you look at what you get for your money, which is exactly what we're gonna do today. But before we do that, I just wanna say thanks for spending a few minutes with me. Hope you have an awesome day, and if you have any pointers, of where I can improve on my content please let me know but let's get back into why the ST is the perfect first car you can get a low mileage 2014 model here in South Africa for around 165,000 Rand which is around $11,000 and yes there are cars that make way more power for around the same money but remember it's a first car the maintenance should be cheap fuel consumption can't be high and we have to keep insurance costs nice and low if you buy some old 3 litre BMW or Merc, you'll have a lot of power, as well as a car that downs fuel, and every time you get a flat tyre, you have to sell a kidney just to be able to get a new tyre for your car. See, the ST isn't the cheapest car, but it is manageable to maintain, so for a first car it's not too bad. Now what powers this little hatch? She is a 1.6 4 cylinder that makes 197 horsepower which gets put to the ground through a 6-speed manual only gearbox so you don't get it in an automatic and this engine and gearbox combo is a lot of fun no, it's not the fastest car under the sun but for a 1600 she's got legs 0 to 60 is reached in 6.9 seconds the clutch isn't hard, it's nice and light which helps with drivability the car is excellent in the corners and even an amateur driver will be able to have some fun and test their limits the exhaust isn't loud, but it makes enough noise to let people know it's not just a Fiesta, but a little sporty hatch. And it isn't even bad on fuel. She gives around 16.1 km per litre. That's really good for a sporty car. So it is really great as a first car. But it gets even better because they are cheap and a ton of fun. The tuner community have grown fond of the ST. And there are tons of mods. So you can really create a scary little car. With software, you can raise the power to around 215 wheel horsepower, add a cold air intake intercooler and a free flow exhaust, and you can lift it even to 240 horsepower on the wheels. And then if you really want to have some fun, upgrade the turbocharger, as well as a ram air intake, you can get the car to around 280 horsepower on the wheels. In a car that weighs only 1.2 tons, the result is nothing short of scary, but in a good way, like it wants to kill you, but it's a lot of fun, you enjoy the, the ride. And there are a few SDs I've seen that push over 300 horsepower on stock internals, but I think that's a little sketch. I don't know if I really would put the internals of that engine through that, that, that much abuse. But the conclusion, if you want a ton of fun on a budget, as well as a car that you can play around with when you have, have some extra cash, buy the SD, it's a great little car. You've got a car that's new, so you've got technology like ABS, traction control, stability control, you've got airbags, you've got a decent stereo. The car is safe and fun. It's just a great all-round car that won't cost too much. So if you are a parent and you're watching this, buy your tr if any ones an ST, buy him the car. It's good. It's safe, it's got good brakes. Remember, if you, there's two ways to look at a car. Yes, it's fast, but remember if a factory makes a car fast, like Ford or whoever makes the car they have to make sure that the brakes can can handle the power so the car will have better brakes it will have better traction control stability control it will come from factory with better tires so it's all stuff to make the car more safe so on the day to day when you aren't driving the car fast it's actually going to be more safe than a slower car because it has bigger brakes and all of the safety things to keep the car from crashing under high speed and now you're driving slowly so it's even better understand yes so it's a great car it's safer for your child it's just good yes except if you drive like an idiot then it's probably not going to be safe because yeah i take no responsibility if people crash their sds and tell like oh but you said it's safe it is safe you must just not be stupid okay cool so i'll check you guys in the next one i'm probably going to get a lot of hate because of that last part um I hope you enjoyed, I've got many more car and bike videos, go check them out. Brrr.